We're here on the road carpet with Ford Performance Racing's Mark Winterbottom. Mark, can you tell us a little bit about the experience of making Cars 2? Yeah, it's an uh, incredible experience <clears throat> to obviously work with Disney Pixar and the uh, professionalism and what's involved. And big out of your comfort zone, you know, I race V8 supercars for a living, and um, but the guys guided me through fantastic. And look at this, this is, this is the end result. Yeah, so uh, really we go in and see the end result. So have you had a chance to see the film? I've uh, seen, uh, obviously this is a premiere, so, um, but I know a bit about the film, obviously, yeah. but uh, can't give too much away. You've got to let everyone go and watch it on June 23, and yeah. obviously the lucky people who are here today get to uh, have the heads up, but um, can't give too much away. Did you have any input into the design and the look of uh, the Frosty character? Oh, well, the, um, yeah, the character, obviously the name was very important because oh, uh, being Frosty, but um, it was very Australian and, and uh, they've done a great job with it. So um, I didn't have to say anything, you know, they're obviously good at what they do and they said, here's your car and um, it was, yeah, it looks incredible. So I'm um, happy with the result and just uh, hope it comes off quite well on the screen. Now, obviously you've become a, a dad recently as well. So the, um, you know, racing car driver for one role, actor for another, perfect sort of scenario for a young kid growing up. Yeah, it, um, I don't know, when I get my highlight reel, when yeah. uh, he's only three and a half months, so yeah. when, uh, when he's a bit older, I don't know what I'm going to show him. I'll have the DVD of Cars 2 and yeah. I'll have uh, maybe a Bathurst win or something there as well, <laughs> so I'm going to try and weigh up the two and I'm pretty proud of, uh, of the motorsport side and I'm really proud of this, so yeah. um, I can't wait till he's old enough to appreciate it. Yeah. Now you're off to Darwin for, for the next round. Uh, last year that was a very important round for you because it kicked off a, a nice little sequence of wins for yourself. Um, this year's been a bit of a challenge. Uh, I'm sort of reading a little bit of uh, oversteer characteristics in, in the Ford this year. What are you seeing happening and what, what do you hope will pan out up in the top end next weekend? Um, it was a season turner last year but um, we've actually struggled on the soft compound tyre a little bit so we go up to Darwin and it's a hard tyre which is definitely a bit more friendly to us but um, I think we'll, we'll get a good result I think but um, the season hasn't gone to plan. We were probably the form team last year, everyone wanted to come to our team when that seat was up for grabs um, and we haven't done what we probably should have but um, good result, get momentum, morale, um, confidence, put smiles on the faces of all the guys who are working hard and uh, we might make some, make some progress, but um, a lot of work to do.